I'm Technical Sergeant Jacqueline Marshall and I'm here in South Burlington at the Vermont Army Aviation Support Facility who is hosting the U.S. Army Medical Department Board where four candidates will be testing the use of their automatic chest compression devices. Sergeant Carlton Quenneville, a crew chief and flight instructor for Charlie Company, 32nd of the 126th, gives an overview. Today we started out with the classroom academics. Uh, we were able to sit down with the instructors today and see how the systems actually work and how to put them together and explain to us what their expectations were of us in the aircraft. The idea is to just try them out in the aircraft and see how they're going to actually perform with the height requirements and the limited space we have. Lieutenant Colonel Joseph Dominguez, Chief Material Tests and Evaluation Branch of the U.S. Army Medical Department Board, said that gaps have been identified downrange where soldiers needed chest compressions, and this testing is important today because it could save lives. Reporting for the Vermont National Guard Joint Force Headquarters, I'm Technical Sergeant Jacqueline Marshall.